because I am from Pakistan. I will cover it in spice. You're shot in your claws. Get your claws shot off, you freak. Slam with your 10 bucks. I'm, I'm 145. Fruit cake ass. I'm 145 and 5'9". 145 what? We need more specificity, Christopher. 145 pounds and I'm Did he five. say pounds? I mean, I'm assuming so. Well, don't assume because he could be 145 kilograms, <laughs> which would mean something different. He'd be a completely huge monster. Uh, he's 5'9". Chris. Yes? Go ahead. Um, and wanting five to get, nine what, Chris? He wants to get into boxing, and I just bought gloves. And what should I research that's similar to similar size to <clears throat> me to learn from? Also, I was the anxious kid, and you told me to work out, and and it worked. Uh huh. Look up Zippo the clown and copy his moves. You like that answer, Chris? Do you like that answer? Yeah. Chris, should I be glib and not helpful to my fans who are seeking guidance? No. Okay. You could, you could, be, fun, you could be... You were telling me to be a total douchebag earlier. You were saying that that would get more views and more likes. It would get people on my side if I was a total douchebag. If I was a total asshole. Well, you promised that you wouldn't... You, you told that. me to do that. Yeah, but I didn't think you'd say it on live. Okay. That was a private conversation. All right, one serious, one serious warning. Let me uh, blow my nose here. One serious warning with the boxing and the Muay Thai is um, be very careful that you don't get at a gym, you end up going to a gym with bullies. Be very careful because your head, you can't be, you can't be getting knocked, your, your head knocked around. It's really bad. You really, you really, uh, you really cannot be getting your head knocked around. It's not good. It's really not good. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. I've never had a concussion or anything like that, but um, I know people have. Because when I started when I when I started doing uh, Muay Thai, you remember we were doing it in the um, the yard and whatnot. Uh -huh. uh, people people was a, a handful of people, not a lot, but a few people would send me clips of them, and one guy was like, "Me and my buddies went out and did blah blah blah," and it was a clip of them just like hitting each other in the head, like retardedly, yeah, by the side of a pool, no less. Like oh. you could have fallen into the pool. Well, yeah, and like um, falling on falling on falling on concrete, getting knocked out and hitting your head on concrete—that's like the there's not there's not much. Like, what else is worse than that? A motorcycle accident? You really have to be super careful with your head. If you go to a um, a gym where there's bullies, and then you think it's like normal to get your to get concussed, um, like regularly, <clears throat> that's not the case. So be very careful. Ramp, ramping up to that level and make sure that you're surrounded by people that are not sociopaths, basically, okay? Um, 145 and 5'9", I mean, it depends on whether you're white or black, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, uh, I don't know boxing that, that well. I just know that the boxers, I, the boxers I've looked into who are like my size, <clears throat> um, those are who I, who I try to fight like, but just look up Look up white boxer, 145, your height. How, how tall is Joe Calzaghi? Joe Calzaghi? Yeah. Joe Calzaghi's six, six feet. Um, maybe, maybe look him up. He, what weight, did he, what weight was he? Or find, find somebody, uh, Joe Calzaghi's 5'11", it says. And I've lost my mouse somehow. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to do your own research. But um, a guy that's your size and your race, because that's going to sort of determine how fast you move. Um... That's how you'd research it. What else was in his question? Anything else important that I missed there? Okay, but just be very careful. Do not get hit in the head. Okay. There's there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of partner drills. You don't have to worry about it so much with BJJ because if someone's a if someone's a bully in BJJ, what's the worst they're gonna do? Hurt? Bend your arm behind your back like a sissy? That sissy shit. Which you should learn. Everybody should be. I, I think uh, if you're a fan of my stuff, you should be able to. You should aim for squatting 225 and getting a blue belt in BJJ. That's what I would like if, I would, if I'm going to make a, any sort of lasting impression on the world instead of whatever you're doing, which is what, calling in a, uh, a B threat? 
to your school. Yeah. That's probably what you're working on right now. But if I could, if I could wish to make a lasting impression, it would be um, squat 225, low bar back squat with good form, um, and uh, get to a, a blue belt in jujitsu. And if you can do those, if you do those two things, you'll be good to go. But the jujitsu shit is such such sissy shit. But yeah, if you go to a jujitsu place and there's a there's a gym bully, it's not really an issue because you could just say, you just say uncle and they stop. Um, whereas with with boxing and Muay Thai, you have to be really careful that you're not working out with sociopaths that want to hurt you. Oh shit! Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly oh, blasted you in two. I will two. kill your fruitcake ass. Get over here before they spot you. Setting bombs off at me? Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? I was looking for a glory hole. Does your house have a glory hole? Uh, check out Hobo Joe 421. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Big Smitty. Thank you for the recommendations out here. Free alpha.